Everyone just waiting for the last of the spectators to leave the oval after half time. Start of the third quarter. And it's 8 2 50 in Belie Werribee, 7 7 49. Johnson in the middle against Bennett. Meehan for Imberley. Got the kick away, but only as far as Taylor, who gets the first kick inside 50. Sutton has to sit and wait for it. Can't take the mark. Front and centre. Best gave it away to Mick Gros. Gave it away to Donahue. Back to Best. Gets it out wide. Might be okay. Manganelli takes the mark. So, at half back. Just chips the ball to centre wing. Bowman takes the mark. He chips the ball. Short again. Templeton takes the mark. Recovered from an ankle injury in the second term. Goes wide. Drew takes the mark on centre wing. Back to Templeton. They just want to try and hold the play up here and not kick it down the line because if they turn it over, it's going to come back with a breeze. So they're just holding it up. Oh, jeez, he's decided to come back. I can't believe it. Templeton goes along the line. Good mark, Meehan. Takes a very good mark in front, Casey Meehan. Obviously coming back for some supplies. Now Meehan goes to the left. Oh, Fitty. Boyd ran too close to Meehan. And he's giving away 50. So Meehan... Will come down and shoot for goal. From about 25 out. Slide angle. Hello, Grub. Hello, boys. Hang on. You come back. Yeah. yeah. We're going okay over there. Yeah, there's a couple of blokes struggling a bit. <laughs> couple of blokes. <laughs> couple of blokes. So, Casey Mayan. Just to extend the lead to seven. Comes in. And... Goal. Just. Goal. Just keeps it in with the breeze. <clears throat> so, his first of the afternoon. And the ninth for Inverlee. They got a 9-2-56. They lead Werribee Central 7-7-49. And that's on the DeGrandy Cycle and Sport. Third quarter scoreboard. Two minutes played. Jeez, that hurts. They've played probably their best half of football for the year, except for their kicking. And... They come out with a win in the third quarter, which I think may well drop, as it usually does, towards the end of the third quarter. And they've let a goal go through. It was a beautiful kick by Casey Moon. I don't know. If you, if Nick Smith, I know coaches get in there and they say, we do this, we do this, we do that. If I was a coach, you know what I said? Kick bloody straight. That's all you got to do. Because if they had a kick straight early, they'd probably still hold a two-goal lead. So they've, they've got to make sure when they get their opportunities. But that was a good goal. 50-metre penalty. I didn't see it, unfortunately, so I can't comment on it. I can't even bag the umpires on that one because I've never seen it. Uh, Bordy did run a bit too close. Yeah, did he? Yeah, 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 fair yeah, enough. from behind. So. Well, Bordy hasn't done much today, so he owes him a bit. So back in the middle of the ground we go once again. It's going to be better doing the ruck work. And again, he gets the tap out of the middle. But uh, Miller had it. Gave it towards Taylor. He was slung. Well, I think he was says. slung further. Yeah, so the umpire has paid yeah. that. So it's going to be a free kick to the Werribee side. Oh, we went to the wrong player there. Hmm. I'm not too sure what happened there. I don't think it was for Miller, but anyway, he kicks the ball forward. Templeton read that nice. Well, give he it got back in to the other players. <laughs> And the mark, it was taken. He plays on, goes wide. Just a bit of possession footy. Goes to Cations. Cations goes wider. Looking for, will have Condy, but he couldn't take clean possession. Put himself under a bit of pressure. Got the handball back to Cations. Able to get around one. Now needs some support. Has it in Filet. He goes back on the right boot. Goes out wide. Mark will be not taken in the end out there by Sloan. And it will run over the boundary line. And we'll have a throw in to take place. <coughs> Belmont lines back in front too. Grub will be to wait. Must be, must be a hell of a breeze, we reckon. So Donahue tries to get through the contest. Incorrect disposal there. And good call by the umpire. Free kick goes to the Werribee side. And they go quickly into their forward line. Goes towards and will find Mark. Anthony. Good boy. And he will go back from about 30 out directly in front. Have a chance to kick for goal. He doesn't mind jumping to the footy, does he? Well, that's what I said yeah. earlier. Yeah. You keep going at it 100%, <laughs> and sooner or later, you're going to miss a few, but sooner or later, you're going to clunk a couple. And if you can clunk a couple and kick straight, that's that's, that's the whole idea of this. So Anthony now steps in. Didn't look too good off the boot. Well, he was thinks it's magnificent yeah. off the boot, straight through the middle. Well, umpire never moved. moved. And it's the goal that they were probably wanted in that uh, third quarter. 8-7 now to the Werribee side. 9-2 to Inverlee and we've gone just over four and a half minutes second uh, third quarter. Well that's what you want to see these kids do just go out at a hundred mile an hour they're going to make mistakes and the good sides are usually going to probably get over the top of them but if they just keep doing that week after week after week sooner or later they're going to they're going to start 
beaten the good sides. But I tell you what, before the ball gets back, I've got to, I've got to mention, I did go over to the past players. And I know you blokes will probably think that the greatest player you've ever seen at Werribee Centres is probably for Stuka. But there's a lot of blokes down here reckon it was Gary Vaughan. And Gary Vaughan's over there at the moment. Not that I haven't a drink. He was one of the greatest players you would ever see, Gary Vaughan. Good to see. What year was he, Grub? Oh, back in the 70s, early 80s, 87. Yep. Finish. Back in the middle, Johnson gets it down towards Miller. Sloan comes off the wing. Got tackled by Miller in the end. Really? Now the ball still in dispute. Back to Sloan again. His handball was slow. But it was okay in the end. And they got a kick away through Taylor. Long and inside 50. Wilson pushed um, Dan Gross well, past the footy. Did. Now it comes back around the corner. Wilson has to stand under it with a couple coming at him. And he takes the mark. Does he not? No. The no, he dropped play it. Only dropped it. So the ball now from Bowman. Gets it away quickly. Elford gets a clearing kick. Oh, no mark taken footy. at 50. Mayan only as far as Taylor again. Kick around the corner. Back to whence it came. Inside 50. And oh, it's falling in their arms. Well, I don't know what's going on. Is anybody mark, going to mark the footy? What's happening? I think. Oh, oh this is what are the umpires on? doing? They're going to have to ball it Come up. on. They're going to have to ball well, it up They must now. have called something because the players oh, stopped. They did. So, But what, what was the mark in the first place? I don't know. Well, I think the Sutton took the just mark, didn't forgot, he? I think he forgot, forgot to, to blow, blow the whistle. whistle. I think so. He was watching the play. Ruck contest. Johnson tried to get it down towards Anthony. He's wrapped up, not going anywhere. The umpire says held to him. Man, why, why wouldn't you, just for the question, why wouldn't you put balls into the forward line when you kick one of the breeze in this quarter as another marking option? Well, you have to. Well, he's sitting back here in the centre forward. He's playing off the half-back line or half-centre wing or somewhere. Johnson takes it out of the ruck contest. Taylor falls to him. Ball spills free. Chesterman, fresh air shot. cation has got the quick, quick uh, handball away. Dan Gros, oh, under pressure. Dropped the foot. The umpire said play on. Chesterman put on another good tackle. And only 10 out from the Werribee goal. We'll have another ball up. Well, still a point of difference. 9-2-56 in Belie. Werribee 8-7-55. Ball up. Bennett. Was that a hold? Yes, yes it, was. it is. Nathan Johnson in front, pushed off the footy by Bennett. And he will shoot for goal. Hasn't kicked one this afternoon yet, Nathan Johnson, but will shoot from 12 metres out directly in front. Well, I don't know how bad your knees are, Spitty, but I reckon you'd kick this. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeez. Hang on a minute. Johnson comes in. I'll tell you what. He made the all up work for got it. it. But he has got it. So his first of the afternoon. <laughs> The ninth for Werribee Centrals. They go to 9 7 61. Take the lead again in Belie 9 2 56 to Grandy Cycling Sport. Third quarter scoreboard. Eight minutes played. Well, I'll tell you what, it only just snuck in, but I will prove it. I will come out here tonight at 11.30, 400 cans in, and I'll kick it from there. <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> nah, look, good goal. I, don't, I didn't see the free kick. It's too far away for me. But when you put yourself in front, you, get, you always got a chance. They've got to try and leave this kid in the ruck for as long as they can. Actually, now's the time to put the other young bloke in the ruck when Hybens isn't there. Because when Hybens plays against the other young fella, he, he, well, well, I don't mean to sound racist, but they didn't come up with our culture. And they just play on ability, these kids. And he hasn't had enough experience to play on a bloke like Jimmy Hybens. Is that all right or not? Fair, fair comment. I think the president's here. Yeah, you know the president's here. and only came up here for one reason. Yeah, we're keeping an eye on you. you. <laughs> ball and the half-back line. That's uh, <laughs> one possession. It ends up in the hands of Leonard. Gives the handball back and they win the ball. Ball through Carlton. Goes back towards centre-half forward. Gets over the top of the contest. Chesterman runs onto it. Got some options outside. Bowman got a hand in there. Went to Thought Templeton. Put the ball further afield. Goes out towards Cations. He's clean. Pick up. Gets around one on the left boot. Delivers the ball back outside 50. But coming up the other way is Taylor left it for Miller and he will take the mark and put them back into attack we're talking about Werribee here uh, looking at his options now runs and carries and goes long into the forward line coming across Mark has not been oh, taken nearly. picked up uh, Anthony it was tried to put the ball back over his shoulder it's going to be marked there by Bowman didn't travel the required distance got the handball out ends up in the hands there of not too sure what the player was. It might have been uh, Laguerre. And his kick was smothered. Ball went back over the boundary line. He was a bit a stiff there. A lot of players mm. pay that distance. That wasn't a bad distance. That one player now restarts play. Throws it back in. Again, comes out. 
Kick forward, ends up in the hands of Taylor. His kick didn't travel too far. Donahue had it. Gave it away to Best. A little bit of dash out of defence. Just puts it on the boot. The ball runs now. So Robbie Lowe will be the first to get to it. Picks the ball up. Good tackle by Buck from behind. Ball comes out. Ends up in the hands of Drew. Goes long into the forward line. Oh, it came off the side of the boot and fell out straight in the hands of Rusty Gerard. So he takes the mark. He's about 35, almost uh, directly in front of goal. And again, kicking back into a bit of a breeze. Gerard now with an opportunity to put Inverley back in front with a straight kick. So as he steps over the arc, runs in, kicks towards goal, looks flat, and it will touch right on the line. Surrend pushed through that must have been line. close, that. Jeez. So it's now 9-3 to Inverley, 9-7 to Werribee, and we've gone 10 and a half third quarter. So Leonard kicks in from full back, high, kick towards Taylor and Boyd, off the back of the pack at half back. Manganelli comes at it, Anthony went at Manganelli and left the footy behind, Taylor over the top of it, tried to get it out, Anthony over the top of it again with Templeton, and the umpire will come Pull in. Pull it up, up. Town bloke you know over there I had a bit of a chat with Brendan Chug. Oh, the Chug man. Chuggy's here. Chuggy. Chuggy's here. We love Chuggy. Number 15, Brendan Chug. <laughs> Good play, the Chug. Oh, yeah. Centre wing. Ball up. Miller grabs it and then gets wrapped up. Gets rid, gets rid of it somehow. Now Anthony gives it away to Tito. How good handball to Taylor. His handball over the top to Boyd was good. He's out now in centre wing. Runs through the middle. Goes with the right foot kick to absolutely Boyd, nobody. What the hell was that? And he turned it over to Dan Groz. So Groz takes the mark. He chips the ball. Oh, what's the, what the hell was that? He turned it over too. Back towards Boyd again. He might be able to pick it up and redeem himself. Then he dropped the foot. The umpire said he toe pokes it. Only as far as uh, getting it out there was Scotty Condy. Now the handball back in, back to Condy, again at half back, back to Alford. Kick around the corner towards centre wing. McEwen runs at it, can't take it with him. Needs some support. Werribee fighting hard for it. They get the kick away under pressure. It's out wide, though, and out of bounds on the full. Look, that's where, that's where you've got to use your brains. You come through, there's no one there. Kick it out in the full if you have to. So they have to kick it back from the... You don't kick it down two blokes' throats, Bordy. Come on, mate. And the ball has come back into Baxter. Inside defensive 50 for the Hawks. He's got Dan Gros lateral, but he's not going to go there. He's going to go down the line. Kicks towards centre wing. Bennett had to make up a bit of ground. He did pretty well to get it towards Cations. Cations goes now back to Condy. Off a step towards centre and uh, towards half forward. Good oh, play defensively. Was good it was for... Uh, oh, oh, Buck it was. He got the handball back to Tito. Oi, bit of candy. He was going to kick it, then, then it was going to get it. smothered, then dropped it and picked it back up and got it towards centre. Good mark. Half forward, but Bowman goes back there and takes the mark. 9-7, Werribee, 9-3 in Belie, and we've played 13 minutes third term. Bowman goes out wide looking for Alford, gets over the top of his head and runs over the boundary line, and now we'll be thrown back into the field of play. Centre wing. I thought Casey Moon looked at me when I yelled out, what are you doing, board? He thought I was a bit biased. I, mean, <laughs> I, think, he I think he did. <laughs> and unfortunately, at that point, I may have been. <laughs> so one point now, throws the ball back in. In front, Johnson taps it down, goes towards Donahue, kicks it back into the half-forward line, and the mark will be taken there by Nye Weller. So he plays on now from the half-back line. Who didn't see the player coming at him, got the little kick away, was probably lucky, was uh, allowed to go. Gives it to Quarrier. Quarrier comes out wide into the hands of Buck. Buck chips the ball further afield. Taylor ball that continues to kick. run. It'll run. It'll sit nicely for him. Steps towards 50, looks back inside. Nice-looking kick and Good a kick. nice mark. And Malou, Malou, comes up, Malou mm -hmm. comes up and takes the mark, and he will go back and shoot for goal. Well, I don't know. I've got no idea with this kid. I've never seen him kick a football. But it's just sometimes they they play some really nice footy at times, don't they? they yes, no, they do. You know. So he steps in and kicks towards Dang goal, what? and Dang that looks what? pretty good off the boot. And he has kicked a goal. So it's a. Uh, Tenth goal for the Rarey side. They're 10 7. They lead in the lead on 9 3. We have gone 14 minutes. Third quarter, the Granny Sockham Sports. Third quarter scoreboard. Sometimes you just wonder how far these Sudanese kids can go. Like they're all playing on just ability. They've always got a bit of height about them, too. Yeah, they? they've got height. They've got athleticism. You've seen Mad Jack Door. You've seen Aaliyah Aaliyah. Or same person if you go with Brian Taylor. But <laughs> those blokes, they've got ability 
and they haven't really learnt how to play the game yet. And you just wonder if they... There's obviously plenty of them around, especially around this area. There's plenty of them. And I know there's a few playing really good football down at Wyndham Vale and that. You just wonder how far some of these kids can go when they're born into it and they really start learning how to play the game. There's no end to it, I don't think. Back to the middle. Johnson, Hybens gets it down. Running back with it, Chesterman. Kick off the ground as far as ball. Gets it away to Tito again. Nywella goes in towards 50. Good, Good mark. mark. Oh, give him 50. Skinner. It wasn't, but give it to him anyway. So half forward inside the centre square now. Skinner goes with a kick long towards full forward. In the middle off the back, or oh, Wilson. And offhand. See where he got himself to. He, he does that nicely. It just went too far. 10 8 68 wherever. 9 3 57 in Belay. Baxter again with the footy at full back for the Hawks. Wants to go to the outer side defensively. Goes long with the kick. Good kick too. Looking for Jimmy Hybens. Used the body nicely, but over his head, in fact, and Anthony takes the mark uncontested. So drives it back inside 50 again. Sutton with the sit over the back. Dan Gros can't take it. Boyd front and centre. His little handball set a bit of a task for his teammate. Was good enough to get it out. Speziali meets it. Tito gets over the top of it as well. And it's held up in there. The umpire will come in and ball it up. About 45 out he from the Werribee goal. He just had to go up the footy a fraction earlier. So ball up. Johnson down there for Werribee. Up against Hybens for Inverlee. Umpire throws the ball in the air. Johnson... Trying to get it down effectively. And now the ball spills across 50. Nywella gets the handball away to Skinner. Off a step towards the square. Two on one down there. Punched away by Dan Gros. Boyd wants to wheel around on the right foot. Does so. Back towards the goal square. It runs across the face of goal. Bowman happy to see it over the line for a throw in. In the right forward pocket for Werribee. They're 10-8-68. They lead in Valley 9-3-57. We've played 17 in the third term. Probably time now to uh, put a few more on the board for the Werribee side. They, they need, need it. Make, yep, certainly do. Ball from Hybens taps it back towards the boundary line. Again, this time it's Bowman. It runs onto it and is prepared to run over the boundary line. So we're going to have a throw in to take place about 10 metres from the last one. Ball's now got himself a bit closer to goal now. Let's run back in by the umpire once again. Hybens front position gets out the no. back. Goes to Meehan. Meehan kicks into the half yep. forward line. Ends up in the hands there of Leonard. Goes back inside. Nice looking kick. Well positioned. Boyd runs onto it and will kick a goal. That's what he's best at doing. And he has kicked one. Dan Boyd's got his first of the afternoon and the 11th now for the Werribee side. They're 11 8. They lead Inverley on 9 3. 17 and a half minutes gone. Third quarter, Grandy Cyclone Sports, third quarter scoreboard. It's a funny game when the wind's involved. It really just boils down to how many they can get in the next spot. What have you got, 10 minutes left? Oh, yeah. be the least. That's all it boils down to. You can talk about how good this bloke is or how good this bloke is. He'll come back on when they've got the wind and probably destroy them. But it's all about now how many they can kick. If they can kick another four, they can win. If they kick another two, they probably can't. But all the experts over there keep telling me the wind drops here and all the time. But I tell you what, I can't see it dropping. I really can't. Oh, he's a run out over there. That's our umpire. He was run out by a metre. Back in the middle. Johnson gets it down. Road by Rusty. His kick was smothered, though. Back towards Johnson, the big fella. Tries to break the tackle. He doesn't. He threw the ball away, and that's the punts. Free kick in Valley. So... Robbie Logue has the footy, back end of the centre square. He chips the ball towards Mick Gros. Takes the mark, uncontested. Drives it long now, inside 50. Best on a lead, but he just went away from it because he could because Manganelli was in position. He took the mark. Still 45 out from goal. Be a tough kick from there, kicking back into the breeze. Oh, yeah. Right that's, half forward. That's where it's blowing too. That's the probably the toughest kick on the ground. He's uh, he's rating his chances, though, can I say? Well, As he puts the ball on the ground just to get himself <laughs> settled. There is one other thing about seeing how many goals they can kick. Oh, if Inver Lee kick a couple, she's over. Yeah. So he comes in. Toby Manganelli, right foot kick, holds up in the breeze. Big pack there, punched away. Taylor tried to get the kick away, just... And they might have a bit of time. Ooh, dangerous, but they get it now. Go towards centre wing. Malul. Oh, got one around the neck. He's going to play it too. Yes, he did. 
Gee. He didn't really have to do that because he right. wasn't going to get the football. So Malol from centre wing goes long towards Skinner. He's got two on him. He does pretty well at the back of the pack. Wilson's there as well. Tries to drag it in, but numbers again with Inverley. Dan Gros, short little kick. He's high. Was it 15? Yes, it was, said the umpire. Baxter took a good mark. Pilot was there as well. And now Baxter takes the mark. It's the switch play to the opposite side. A long lead over the back. Manganelli runs away from him with the breeze. Now to bounce for a throw in. 50 around for the Werribee goal. They're 11 8, 74. 17 point leaders over Inverley. 9, 357, 20 and a half played third term. I'll take a bit of time to get this ball back, I reckon. Yeah, I think that's what uh, Manganelli was doing up the other end. He knew he couldn't kick that. But if you take a whole 30 seconds off the clock when you're against the win, that's smart football. So thrown back in now by the umpire. Buckman go out at again. Ball comes front of the contest. Picked up Meehan. Had to get rid of the ball. Did so. Umpire said it was a legal free kick going to the Werribee side. And it's Boyd once again. So Boyd now looks for the short kick, but that was pork. And then ends up straight in the hand of Mick Gross, who's... Sitting about 30 metres out from goal. Okay, now Mick Gros, he'll go to the far side of the ground, no doubt, and finds Templeton. And he takes the mark. Slowing things down. Until called by the umpire when he goes long. And that's going to be out of bounds in the full, I reckon. Pretty close to. Ball is touched and will be over the boundary line. So we'll have a throw in to take place in between centre wing and the half forward line. Eight points of difference at Bannockburn between Bannock and West. Who's winning? Bannock by eight. Ball thrown back in now by the umpire. And again, front position taken. The kick picks up. Goes to Gerard. Kicks the ball back into the middle of the ground. Drew's in front. Good clean pick up. Goes to Mick Rod by hand. Puts boot the ball and into the half forward line. Mark not taken just yet. Sit back, mate. Sit back. Goes back into all good kind of contest there from Anthony and also Bennett. Anthony picks the ball up. Needs to get rid of the ball. Does so. Goes towards the centre of the ground. Hand in there from Condi was good. Oh, a bit high on Drew, and the free kick will go Gee, to Geordie Drew. Was almost a good tackle on yeah. it. Just had the hand on the shoulder. So Drew now goes short. Lead up player Platt comes up, takes possession of the ball. His short kick goes over the top. Players required at the back coming through. Not too sure. I think it might have been Mick Gross trying to get in front, front of the contest. Ball runs out the back. Nye Weller dives on it. It's still alive. It comes out the back and it's kicked a wide. How wide? The umpire wide. said too it's wide. going to be out of bounds on the full free too kick. Too wide. In the lay out there. And Michael Best is going to be the recipient. So he's looking at his options in. He goes short. Geordie Drew continued to push up the ground and he's taken the mark. Gee. Again, this might be on testing material, I think, back into that bit of a breeze. Well, I'm sort of a little bit more worried how you can allow a bloke to run into that space. The good sides, like your top side, don't let that happen. And that's some of the things that I think they have to learn. So Geordie Drew comes in. He'll have to kick this uh, at least 35. Kicks that goal. Ball into the yeah. square and is pushed through for a minor score. It's always going to be a tough kick, even from 35. So 9-4 now to in the lead. 11-8 to the Werribee side. And we've gone just over 23 minutes in the third quarter. Quick kick in. Looking for Ball who has to come at it. Alfred was in front. Falls to Donahue back on the ground. Kick for Childress leader Gerard. Rusty pops it up. Nice kick. And mark taken by Walsh. About a 30-out slight angle. Gives it the best, runs past, misses. Three for one behind. Well, that's a let off. That is a dead set let off. You so won't see miss many of them. 9 5 59 in Valley, where we 11 8 74. We've played 24 minutes in the third term. But I did have a bit of a word to Bestie early before the game. I said, oh, you know, look after us. I think he just looked after us, Bestie. <laughs> good on you, mate. Not just a good player, but a pretty good bloke, Smitty. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Not like he's old man. He's a mongrel, he's old man. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so Leonard had to go and get his own footy. Not too many people behind the goals today. And he goes to Blake Taylor. Good kick and a good mark at he's half back. He's had a pretty good game. He's had a good game. Nice. Kick three and he played well. And plays on. Goes long towards half forward. Balled. And, oh, Chesterman came across as well. And then ducked the head Bowman but got away. Oh, then Boyd got him. 
And he dropped the foot. The umpire said play on oh, patience. He's got a handball out. Gives it away to Templeton. He measures the pass. Danger. Great play. Oh, Sutton takes the mark. Go back. Take your time. And have the kick, son. The intercept by Sutton. Josh Sutton. <laughs> and he'll shoot the goal from 45 out. Only directly in front. I don't think he's played quite as well as, no. as we saw him against Thompson earlier in the year. But being a young fella, I think he's going to be all right, Smitty. No, oh, he's good, good size. Yeah. Some of these young fellas have got to fill out a little bit. So Sutton comes in. Right foot kick, terrible off the boot. And they got a kick straight. Yeah, that was he didn't that drop was terrible yeah. there. So one behind. We got 11 9 75 centrals. Leading the lead 9 5 59 to Grandy Cycling Sport. Third quarter scoreboard 25 and a half played. So again, Baxter kicking in from the fullback position and uh and Garrity will go to the far side of the ground. He plays on and goes that way now. You reckon? Decides to kick long. Do you yeah, reckon? reckon? That's probably the easiest thing they've done all day. Goes towards Hyman, didn't take the mark. Gerard tried to take it and couldn't get away from the contest. They've been held up. The umpire's going to come in and take possession of the ball. Just inside the centre square. Still where he's attacking end of the ground. And it's thrown back up quickly. Ball gets to ground, comes towards Chessman. Kitchens read it nicely, got the handball back to Hyman. An underground handball went to me, and he can't. He's over the top of the ball, but can't pick the ball up. He's dragged it in. Umpires let things go. It ends up, comes out the back door. That's nice, quick hands. Ends up in the hands of Smith, who goes long back towards the goal square. I tell you what, the ball's going to run, but bounced the wrong no. way. And through for a minor score. So now 11-10 to the Werribee side, 9-5. 26 minutes gone. Again, the ball in quickly. Mark taken out there. That's what I was talking about before. That young fella, the Maluli, he should have realised that that wasn't going to be a goal. He should have attempted the mark, but he, he tried to let it go. It was never going straight. So Dan Gros goes out wide and outside 50. Mark out there. Casey oh, Mann, umpire's, oh, umpire's cool called play on. Oh, no, that's a good mark, isn't it? He must it? have gone over the boundary line as well, so there's going to be a throw-in to take place now on the far side. Jeez, that was a really good mark. I thought, anyway. Maybe I'd better get that can of Pepsi Max out. Yeah, Johnson throws the ball back in. Handball goes towards Miller, kicks the ball back inside 50. Tapped away by Alford. Front of the contest, the Werribee trying to win the ball into their forward line. Chesterman chases the ball towards the boundary line but can't keep it in. And it runs over, so we'll have another throw in far side of the ground. I think they need two more at least, Grub, to give them any chance of a... Uh, two more and we've got a thriller, I reckon. Yeah, two more, we've got a game on. One more, we're most, well, in a bit of trouble. It could be done in the first ten minutes. But Tyburn taps the ball back to front of the contest again. A lot of players around this contest and umpire, but no... Opportunity but to come in and ball the thing up. The thing. The thing, the ball is going to be thrown up. Hybens, ball doing some ruck work now down there, taps it over the top. Robbie Lowe went to ground, got the handball out. They win possession, handball goes back to Lowe, he gets it further afield. Coming through, picked up by Hybens, nice. Out goes to Donahue. Donahue got it further afield, the best. He's kicked to the sword centre wing as Mark has taken out there. Thing. And Fletcher takes the mark and he plays on and goes quickly back into their forward long. Balls the target, he's up over the top. And I think he's I got think it he's this time. One. I think it's uh, claimed and it's been paid. That's what you need that kid to do. Clunk if you. I said he would eventually... He hasn't been much down there, Grubby. He's been playing a half on the half. Back yeah, but just from general play, yeah, from yep. what we've seen him at, for, through the year. Yeah, no, he's had a couple it, of months in front of us before. Yeah, he's got a lot to a lot of contests and that. And it, oh, hello. So he plays on now, puts his teammate under a bit of pressure. They're uh, going to work hard for this goal if they get it, and it ends up, and they kick towards goal. Missed it, it through for a minor score. Jeez. Who was that? Leonard. Leonard was it? Mm -hmm. So he's now moves them along to 11, 11, and it is. A 9-5, two in the lead, 28 and a half gone. Just little things like that. Why wouldn't you kick that goal? Yeah, I think he should go back and, and try and kick the goal himself. I really do. Baxter plays on, gives it away to Donahue in the back pocket. He goes with a long kick towards half back. No mark taken. Mayan was good at, behind, at uh, three quarter time as Boom. the siren sounds. And it's where it be 11 11 77. They lead. Uh, Inverley 9 5 59. Goal kickers Dale. Three quarter time. Blake Taylor with three. Anthony with two. One each to Wilson, Boyd, Bald, Malal, 
and Chesterman and four in the lead. Three to Donahue, two to Condi, one each to Logue, Meehan, Manganelli and Bennett. 18 points of difference at three-quarter time. Where will be 11-11-77. They lead in the lead 9-5-59. Back with the final quarter action. Match day live after this on 94.7 The Pulse.